Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner, uh, covering section 522 of Griffith's Introduction to Electro Electrodynamics, uh, second edition. If I go too fast, you can always rewind. Uh, be sure to like and share with your friends if you appreciate what I'm doing. So example six is uh, we have a ring of charge, a ring of current actually flowing around um, at I, radius R, okay? And then above the center, we want to calculate the magnetic field P, okay? So if we take a tiny slice of this ring, dl vector, and we have our r vector, okay, then we can easily calculate the b vector. So dl cross r vector is going to be perpendicular to both these vectors. It's going to point out basically like this. This is the infinitesimal db vector. And this is going to trace out a cone where the horizontal components are going to cancel, and you're going to get the sum of the B vector, okay? With this angle, and this angle is theta, okay? Which means that this angle is theta. The reason why is this is perpendicular, this is perpendicular. Um, more importantly, this is perpendicular. And so we have, you know, uh, the, um, this is perpendicular, so we have, this is, uh, uh, 180 minus 90 minus theta. So this is theta, uh, 90 minus theta. So this is 90 plus 90 minus theta. So you, this angle has to be theta in order to get 180 degrees inside of that triangle. So um, we can just write out our Bio Savar law for this case. That's mu naught over 4 pi. And we have a constant current. We're integrating across that loop. Well, that's going to be dl. Uh, cross r hat, but they're perpendicular, so it's just dl over r squared. But only the cosine theta component of that's going to be contributing to the end result because the horizontal components will cancel out, so we take cosine theta there. This isn't the cosine theta of the dl. Um, this isn't theta of the angle dl and r. This is theta of the vertical component there, so don't get that confused in your mind. So we can pull out all the constant components. i is constant. The r length doesn't change. Um, cosine theta isn't going to change. Integral dl. Well, now we have mu naught over 4 pi i. What is cosine theta? Cosine theta is just uh, r over the length of r. So we get r over r times 1 over r squared. So we have r cubed on the bottom. And what's the length of the circle? 2 pi r. Okay. Um, r, r squared actually is equal to the distance here is z. Did I write that down earlier? No, I didn't. z squared plus r squared. It's a right triangle. Okay, z and r are perpendicular. And so r cubed has to be z squared plus r squared. All of that to the three halves. And so we get u naught over 4 pi i r squared. I forgot to cross off these guys. So I have two on the bottom there. Over z squared plus r squared to the three halves. And that's the answer for the magnetic field uh, pointing up um, a distance away from this uh, current. Now if we flip the current around, this would obviously change signs to negative. The, f the magnetic field would point down. Um, and this is, typically you'll find this kind of arrangement where you have a circling charged in something like a solenoid, which I'm sure we'll cover more later. A solenoid is basically a wire wrapped tightly like this. Each time that solenoid loops, you're adding to that magnetic field, you're going to get a distance z above. So if you loop 10 times, you're going to get 10 times the strength of that magnetic field with the same current. Okay, pretty, pretty fun stuff. Okay, wrapping up, conclusion. Okay. So we had the Biot Savar law. There are similar laws that you can apply to surface charge, uh, surface current. Looks like this um, integral of the k vector, the surface uh, current cross r hat over r squared uh, times the area you're looking at for volume currents. integral of the volume of j vector cross r hat over r squared d tau. 
So um, you might be tempted, he mentions, and uh, the funny thing is it's not quite exactly incorrect. You might be tempted to say, well, if you have a single charge flowing, then you get something like this. Uh, of the charge, V vector cross, uh, oh, I'm sorry, R hat, over R squared. And although this equation is close to being correct, at least at non-relativistic speeds, the problem is, is this is not what the BIOS of our law is. Uh, this isn't a steady current. This is a single uh, charge moving around in whatever path it follows. So we're not going to use that one, at least not yet. Uh, later on, when you understand how charges actually move around and what that means in terms of electric magnetic fields, then we'll start talking more about how to do things like that. Anyway, uh, take your time to do the problems. Uh, enjoy, savor the problems. Um, you're only going to get to solve these as many times as you can forget how to solve them. Um, and uh, take your time, share this with your friends. Take care. Bye.